Hey Elites, Melinda here with Elite Pet Training and you guys are in for a treat today because you are getting completely free training advice. I'm going to be demonstrating this with some of my Day Academy dogs today um, and what we're going to be showing you is how to teach them to be quiet in a crate. Um, the dogs I'm using today, it's actually their very, very first day. Um, little Layla and Poppy, they're little Mastiff puppies. Um, after about 10 minutes of working with them, I realized this is some pretty good information for you guys, so I started filming it. Um, so you guys are going to get some free training advice. And we're going to show you how to keep them quiet in a crate and without having to use anything aversive. I don't have to stick a shock collar on them. I don't have to yell at them. And I also don't need to comfort them. Every time I come up and say, oh, it's okay, all I'm going to be doing is just reinforcing the whining. So I'm going to show you an easy, quick way to start training this. Um, I will give you a little forewarning. Um, the one on the left is Layla. She has, we've had 10 minutes working on this, so she's a little bit more advanced than her sister Poppy, who is on the right. Um, but you're gonna see with both of them just how easy it is to teach puppies to be quiet. Um, it's early in the morning, so we don't have all the daycare dogs here today, but we do have a couple and they're getting some treats too. So enjoy. Okay, so the rules of the game for this are actually pretty darn simple. The main thing is that they need to learn that every single thing they do has a consequence. It can be a good consequence, like treats, or I'm actually using just their dog food from this morning. Um, the consequences, if they do something I don't like, is they lose something that they want. Um, it's nothing aversive, it's just simply teaching them that if they do something inappropriate, they lose certain privileges, just like children. <laughs> so you're doing the exact same thing with your dogs. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually using their dog food and as long as they remain quiet, I'm gonna drop little pieces of kibble into their crate. This is why I like wire crates, because you can easily distribute food in there. If they whine, the consequence is that they lose the ability to see other dogs on the other side, myself, their friends, they lose that stimuli. So that's what the blanket is for in the front. Um, little Miss Poppy over on the right, she gets a blanket a little bit more than Layla because I've been working a little bit longer with Layla, about 10 minutes ahead. Um, so that's why Layla's doing a little bit better. One thing I'm going to point out is I do have, it's a box that's covering the wire crates as well, as well as that blanket that's right there in the front. That's just to limit the stimuli because they can see all the other dogs around. So I want to make sure that the focus is just in front where I'm at. That way I can make sure to take that visual away. As they get better, I slowly reduce the boxes and the limitations so I actually will take the box off and just have the front covered and that's just how I start to transition out. Um, any dog that just starts out they always get the box over their crate or if they're a puppy that I've been working with for a while where they're getting a little bit better but not quite ready for that training wheel to come off I'll leave the box on. But the main thing is having a blanket that will block the front if they whine, bark, um, do anything in general that's inappropriate that they should not be doing in the crate. Uh, as they remain quiet I'm going to drop little pieces of those kibble in, and again, it is just their dog food. This is first thing in the morning. I don't have to bribe them with anything extremely tasty. I mean, if they were struggling, I would use some very high-value treats. But just starting out with this, I'm just using their dog food, and they're working just fine for that. As they get better and progress, I'm actually going to reinforce less. So what I mean by that is I'm not treating every single second when I'm there. They're getting it probably every two, three four to five seconds somewhere in that window that I'm reinforcing. Um, one thing is I do this on and on because Layla has improved. Layla gets reinforced a little bit less than Poppy because she doesn't need it as much. She's starting to learn the name of the game and to calm down. Now if Layla did start to regress a little bit where she starts whining more, then I would increase her rate of reinforcement because she would be communicating to me that I'm moving just a little too fast for her. Um, same thing with taking away that distance. They start to do well with you standing right there treating them, but they need to learn that when you walk away from them, that's also a good thing as well. So I work on my distance with them when I'm getting out of camera shot. Um, that's what I'm doing there. And as you can see, now we have some quiet and happy puppies and it's just a little bit after 8 a.m. So as you can see in here, we don't have a bunch of stressed out, whiny, screamy dogs anymore. Um, we just have a couple of calm, quiet puppies and it's only a little bit after 8 a.m. So we don't actually have all of our Day Academy dogs here yet. Um, but we do have quite a few that we've been able to work with. And again, Layla and Poppy, it's their very first day. So they're actually doing pretty awesome for learning how to be quiet in a crate. 
um, especially a crate they're not used to, they've never been in, there's other dogs around, they can smell other dogs, so they're actually doing really, really well, and it didn't take that much time at all. Um, I've only been working with them for about 20 minutes on this, so they're actually doing very, very well for being quiet, starting right out. Um, and again, this is stuff that you can do at home. This is really easy. If you just set a little bit of time aside, you'll be able to teach them to be quiet in a crate, no problem. And you can do this with adult dogs too. It doesn't have to be just your puppies, but this is a good start for your puppies. And this is a protocol that I do with every single day Academy puppy that starts here, because I can tell you every single one barks and whines on their very first day. Every single one, even if they're quiet at home, they bark here. So we start right away and they learn very, very, very quickly. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and you actually learned something. Um, if you want to check out more videos or more information, you can go to our website at www.elitepettraining.com. Um, if you want to check out our Day Academy program or if you also are interested in any classes, that's where you can find some information. Or you can also check out our website um, or our Facebook page, our Facebook page, Elite Pet Training. Uh, I've got plenty of cute videos and pictures and lots of stuff going on there. So feel free to check out those places. Thanks and have a great day.